sweep theory, real quickly. Four, four things you have to accomplish if you want to sweep somebody. My center of gravity needs to be as close to his center of gravity as possible. If I can be under his center of gravity, that makes it easier. The further his center of gravity is from mine, the harder a sweep will be. So if he's here to lift him up, it's not going to happen. So I need to be close to him, connected to him, underneath him, to make the sweep easier. Next, whichever side I decide to go to, I have to have his post in hand. So if I want to go that way, I can't let this hand free because it's a post. So I have to capture the arm on the side that I'm going to. Next, I have to connect to him. I can't let our body separate. So when I go to sweep him, I don't flop back, fall back, because it'll make the sweep twice as hard. So we connect. And the last thing is that I'm going to rock like an egg. I don't do this. But when I sweep, I'm here, here, like a rocking chair, or an uh, egg, or an egg. All right, so, so I'm going to put all those four things into practice. doesn't matter what we call this sweep. You can make up a thousand sweeps off of those four principles. So I'm going to capture the arm. I'm going to connect to him. We're connected now. I'm going to get my center of gravity as close to his as possible. And now I'm going to rock like an egg. Four.